the world of trading will never be the same. Falcon X, a leading digital asset trading platform, is set to launch a new chatbot named Satoshi, aimed at hedge funds, and Crypto.com has released its AI chatbot, Amy, for the average user. And they're both powered by OpenAI. How can these crypto bots make you rich? And what are the risks? You'll find out on this episode, AI Focus. Oh, and as a little bonus, stay till the end of the video to see AI's smartest dog, Spot, that has just been injected with a dose of GPT-4. You know, that's a great question. You know, that's a great question. <laughs> Satoshi is named for the pseudonym of Bitcoin's enigmatic founder, Satoshi Nakamoto, and will provide users with personalized investment ideas based on natural language processing tech, which will analyze data from the crypto market. Using OpenAI's ChatGPT, Falcon X users will be able to ask Satoshi questions like, what are the three biggest differences between two blockchain platforms? The bot will also be able to suggest investment ideas for users based on historical trading activity and portfolios and interests. The prototype currently allows users to get customized news summaries in the form of something like ChatGPT responses. And it's only right that Falcon X is the company to bring OpenAI's tech into crypto. The company's engineering head spent two and a half years at Google putting machine learning tech into Gmail and Google Docs. The CEO of Falcon X himself, Raghu Yalagata, is from Google and he built the machine learning approach into his company software in the beginning of 2018. This was the only way to get a clear picture of the market. But Falcon X couldn't make a usable crypto bot with just these algorithms alone. Turns out machine learning algorithms by themselves cannot tell traders what to do next. For example, you can train a model to recognize pictures of platypuses by feeding it lots of pictures of platypuses. But no matter how many images the model sees, it will never be able to predict how that platypus may evolve in 1000 years in a situation where the ocean temperature rises say 3 degrees. In the world of trading, this is equivalent to asking a traditional algorithmic trading model to build a strategy for a set of circumstances that haven't happened yet. This is where large language models save the day. Yalagata says his company was working on Satoshi for more than 9 months to no avail until OpenAI entered the chat. OpenAI can build generative AI on top of this machine learning algorithm and now today Falcon X uses OpenAI's API stacks and infrastructure to test and build Satoshi. So how does this generative AI tech help in the crypto space? In crypto, 90% of all legit trading is done by 10% of the traders who are mostly large firms that can afford to hire teams to build the right tools. Their market neutral strategies and quantitative long short strategies make up 55% of the industry. But the other 45% of strategies are hedge funds using a discretionary approach. Satoshi is designed to help these companies even the playing field with the bigger operations. It will do this in three ways. First, Satoshi can scour all relevant info and news across social media and present briefings tailored to a client's interests or holdings. Second, the user can test strategies by asking questions like, how much will it cost me to put a $1,000 short position in Bitcoin? Third, Satoshi will have buy sell buttons in the platform so that the user can act on these strategies immediately. By the way, if you're enjoying this content and want to stay updated on all the latest AI news and updates, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. Now back to the video. But it's not at all certain this will go to plan. Satoshi is still in testing, and the issue of privacy is a concern when it comes to these generative AI models, and their tendency for hallucinations may be the scariest problem. This is when AI provides wrong information in a convincing fashion which would be detrimental in the trading world. ChatGPT once hallucinated that a George Washington University law professor was accused of sexual harassment and even conjured up a Washington Post story to go with it. So you might not want to bet the house on Satoshi's info just yet. But what about regular everyday crypto traders? Crypto.com 
just announced that they're releasing Amy, a GPT-powered user companion that will help users navigate the crypto industry. The chatbot will give users near real-time info about specific tokens and projects, while you can ask it questions about prices, listings, and events surrounding the tokens. The exchange claims Amy will help users capture opportunities in crypto, but also specified that it does not give investment advice. OpenAI's GPT model powers Amy, and it's also trained on specific case examples involved in crypto. The project is currently in beta for select users on Crypto.com, with more users getting access in the coming weeks. Crypto.com isn't the only exchange turning to AI. Binance also launched Binance Sensei, which is similar to Amy. A Crypto.com spokesperson said, As with other businesses and sectors, we see incredible potential and opportunity in the convergence of AI with the crypto industry and our platform specifically. This is particularly the case for crypto when it comes to helping educate users about the underlying technology and financial services more broadly. Maybe you don't care about crypto, and animal loving is more your speed. Well, Boston Dynamics robot dog Spot may not be able to bark, but he can speak in complete sentences. Lavatas, an AI software company, partnered with Boston Dynamics to integrate OpenAI's ChatGPT into Spot, which Boston Dynamics premiered three years ago. The robot dogs can now understand and respond to humans face-to-face -face using Google Assistant's voice tech. These robo-dogs were initially designed for logistics and manufacturing industries to identify skills in leaks and search for equipment damage in factories. The robot dogs would then collect a large amount of data, only useful to people with technical expertise. Now that Spot can speak English, thanks to ChatGPT, anyone can talk to it. ChatGPT can interpret questions and provide answers based on the robot's data. Check out this demonstration. How many inspections in your next mission? My next mission involves 20 inspections. Okay. The last mission was room 66. It lasted 30 minutes and there were two thermal anomalies detected. Eric Adams, the mayor of New York, recently announced that these dogs will be used in bomb threats, hostage situations, and hazardous waste sites. Adams said the dogs can save lives in situations where you can't have police officers going inside because it's too dangerous. The ChatGPT integration is still in its research and development phase and has so far only demonstrated in industrial equipment inspection situations, but the future is bright for Spot. The CEO of Lovatas, Chris Nielsen, said these Spot units will be able to explore facilities discover a variety of equipment and conditions, and then report back with safety, security, and maintenance recommendations for the human teams to address. What do you think about these crypto bots? Would you use them if they had no threat of hallucination? What do you think about Spot? Let me know in the comments below. Click that video on the screen to watch something you haven't seen. And thanks for visiting AI Focus.